Hey everybody, Jay the Nation over here. I'm here with another video. With this video, I am actually going to talk to you guys about how you can create hashtags for your videos. Now, I don't know if you've been noticing that all around the YouTube channels and basically being on YouTube, period, a lot of videos have been coming up with hashtags. So I'm actually going to show you one of the ones I did on mine you know, on a recent video. And then I'll show you how to do it on your own. Now that video was my PayPal video. Now I'm not sure to watch all of it because I already know what I said in it. In the next six You don't need that either. Seconds. I'm gonna show you exactly Slow how you down. pay a thousand. Right here. Did you can see hundred, two thousand, twenty five hundred dollars a month? Hit pause. Good. As you can see at the top, it says PayPal accounts, hashtag PayPal shut down, hashtag PayPal payments. And that's basically what I'm going to show you guys on how you can do for your videos. All right. So let's jump right into it. So what I first thing I want to do is I want to go to my settings. I want to go to my video manager. Now, if your layout is like mine's, it's automatically going to give you the option to go to your settings depending on if you have the old layout, which usually probably be updated by now. To the, the new layout. Um, you can check out the old layout as well in different types of forms. Uh, I prefer the old layout, but you have to get used to what, what is actually updated now. So it doesn't take much. So once you do that, you click on your profile picture, then you should be able to scroll down to settings. Now, this is the way that I have been able to go through to get to my video manager. If there's a shorter way, you can definitely let me know. And I always click view additional features right here. It's going to give me this whole list right here. All right, we can check up with your status and all those other features that you know will need for your website. Okay, and then excuse me for your channel. And the next thing I go to is of course right here, video manager. So once I get to the video manager, that is exactly where I'm going to see my videos. All right, let me write down something really quick. Uh, Okay, so now the way I was able to do this, and the way you can do this, is by let me see, because the video I have now that doesn't have it is this one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys that right quick, just so you guys can see what that looks like. So let me open up another tab, so you can see the the previous image or previous look of it as of right now. Come on. Let me see my channel. And I got to do some cleaning on this. Alright. Now, what I'll do is go to my video so you can see that video and basically how it's displayed. So that you can already see that it doesn't have the hashtag on it. Uh, it'll be this one that I just uploaded 30 minutes ago. Come up here. And I'll go ahead and pause this right quick. And as you can see, above the title, there's no hashtag. That's what we want, is the hashtag. So now we'll go back to this other, the video manager itself. Okay, once I get here, then I get the video, click on the video you want to go ahead and add the hashtag to. Then you click this right here. Make sure you get a check mark, and then you go to actions. Then you type, click on description. All right. Now this is the only way I know to be able to actually do it through to get your hashtags to go on top of your YouTube video. So go ahead and go to hashtags, or excuse me, type in your hashtags when it's appended to end. So I will do schedule post, or rather. Facebook automation groups. Or if you have a brand and you want to keep it connected to your brand, do the Haitian mobile or whatever your brand name is. Then hit submit. It's going to tell you that you're going to update the video. You can't change it. Not easy, not right now. All right. 
Okay, we'll just go ahead and submit that and we wait. Now it says pending edit. Now it could either happen automatically or you may have to wait. So in this time, we're actually just gonna wait a few minutes and see what happens, and then we'll go back in and check to see what it looks like. Okay, now it says video successfully updated. Go back to this tab, we're gonna refresh. And there you go. Just like that. You have the hashtags at the top. Now keep in mind, these hashtags, why they're helpful, is obviously to, find, to be better found on topics. So if somebody's looking for certain information and they want to look for Facebook, automation, or even just want to find out more about my brand, they will click on these, do something else, and then you will find my other videos. So for example, you can just click on Facebook, and you'll find all the videos that pertain to Facebook that have, especially if they have the hashtag. So this would be a great way to be found um, more so. And whatever it is that you're doing, just make sure that you incorporate everything together and keep them, you know, to make sure to make sense. So don't put a bunch of hashtags that have nothing to do with what you have to do because then you'll get a bunch of thumbs downs. And you don't want that, especially if you're trying to grow on YouTube. So keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments for me, leave some at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And give me a thumbs up if this helped. Thank you so much for watching.